everyone welcome back to my channel my name is katie and i have another topic that i want to share with you today and that topic could be creating patterns using photoshop so let's get started what i have in here are a few photos that we are going to use for our pattern patterns are commonly used as background for quotes patterns can also be used if you want to print out something and you are, are into scrapbooking or you are into journaling and you wanted to have pretty nice patterns that you can put in your notebooks also um one thing that i've done with patterns is that i cut it into small pieces and it actually looked like it was a washi tape so feel free to use the patterns in whatever way you want oh by the way yes you can also use it as a wrapping paper if you will print it um, using a bigger dimension all right so let's get started we have here some donuts um coffee and then some pastries so i think you know <laughs> where we're going at here we're actually going to create a pattern um, showing sweets and coffee so for this project if you are using Photoshop click on file and click new and then my suggestion for you is to create a 1000 by 1000 px for the size of your pattern file so just click that and make sure that your pattern background here is white or transparent or well any color you want would be fine as well and i would suggest that if you will be printing your pattern to make sure that the resolution is set at 300 ppi or dpi all right and if you will print it as well you can start by changing the color mode or you can work with rgb and then just change change it to CMYK later because CMYK is the file um, mode for colors that's advisable for printing because you can see what the color will be already because the RG there's a difference between the RGB color mode and the CMYK color mode I'm gonna be creating a new video um, discussing the difference between RGB and CMYK so that you will be more familiar with what file mode or color mode to choose when creating your projects if it's just going to be posted online or if it's going to be printed okay so let's continue once all the settings right here are perfectly okay click create all right and then a new um, file here will open and then we will be choosing some elements of the design that we wanted to have in our pattern like we are creating right now a repeating pattern or a seamless pattern so that means it's never ending and you can adjust it to any size that you want so let's pick the donut for um, this instance and I prefer working with a transparent background so I'm gonna go ahead and delete the white background of this image so it's easier to copy and paste later you will know why now i'm gonna click on this um, i'm using the magic eraser to tool by the way it's one of my favorite tools in photoshop so and i'm sure if you get to use it you'll learn to appreciate it as well so i like the one with sprinkles so i'm gonna click on this the lasso tool and i'm gonna just trace it freehand and then i'm going to drag that to the file and then i'm putting that in the center and i'm going to look for something to pair that donut with so maybe this one is nice because of the contrasting color all right so just trace that and then drag and then we are going to make this a bit smaller just adjust so feel free to resize illustrations that you will be using so i think the graphic design element relative size is not <laughs> matching so i'm gonna make the donut smaller and i'm going to make the coffee a little bit larger all right i'm good with that and if i want to i can duplicate that one and then change the direction and then i'm going to pick another one maybe this little coffee bean right here should be good and then make it smaller i'm going to duplicate it some more and then i'll take 
probably this cupcake. Oopsie. So make sure that you don't crap any of the illustration. So again, let's resize this. All right, so I'm gonna fast forward the video as I put some elements here. You will notice that the, that the video will go fast. So let me know if you did not catch any of the instructions so I can send or I can answer you. But for now, it's just me adding um, elements in our design so that it will look pretty nice. I guess I'm good with the design. What I'm, I will do here is to merge all. Okay, I'm going to choose all the layers and then merge them. Okay, now it's just one layer. I'm good with the design that we are looking at right now. And so the next step would be to click on edit and then click on define pattern. And I'm going to name this as morning coffee and then click on OK. And then we have already created a pattern. So the next step is to open a new file and open a rather bigger file than the one that we just created. So I'm going to choose 3000 by 3000 PX. Now we have a super big file, so I'm going to make it smaller so everyone can see. Now I will click on layer menu. And then I will click new fill layer and then click pattern. Just choose pattern fill one, it doesn't matter. And then click on OK. The latest pattern that we have created or that we have defined will appear in this file. Now you can scale so that the items here will be bigger. So what you need to do is just to increase the slider or decrease whatever you want so in this case i think i'm going to choose around um 300 i think 300 is okay if the slider won't give you the complete or the correct scale then you can just type it and then click link with layer and just click on okay and then watch with, with what I'll do so you can actually replace or reposition everything so that it will suit your needs so if you want that the donuts would be highlighted then you can do it like this if you want that it's the coffee that will be highlighted probably don't crop any of the coffee and crop some of the donuts so yeah basically um you can decide whatever pattern look that you want to have and of course just by using this you can save this file and then move it around some more and you have another file so that's how easy it is to create a pattern this is just a simple seamless pattern using photoshop in my next tutorial i'm going to share with you how to create another form of pattern using another method and that's exactly another easy process as well so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you are going to try this don't forget to tag me on your social media if you will post it tag katie paper designs and i will be more than happy to see your output right so if you are not subscribed yet and you are new to the channel please go ahead and click the subscribe button and also i would suggest that you tap the notification bell so that you will be notified when a new video is up so thank you again for being with me you have a great day or great night everyone bye bye